Jerico. Jerico. Good evening, everyone. 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 Can we? Are we okay now? Can we? Are we okay now? Can we? Oh, no, no. Are we okay? I am very worried. I am very worried. I am very worried. I am very worried. I definitely, uh, I definitely, I would be more professional, everyone, than to have my own stream in the background. Hey, look, there's my Google account settings, everyone. Um, there we go. I definitely wasn't watching Sanjay two minutes before I, I started. Um, and so it definitely didn't just automatically flip over to me when I was about to start. Um, Dan, thank you very much for, <laughs> for sorting that one out. That was, that was harrowing. Um, I, I wasn't sure what was going on there. Um, let me try that again. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Daily Cast. I'm Ed. You don't normally get to see me at the start, but the stream's obviously just started. Um, thanks, everyone, for joining um, on what is kind of a bit of an off day. Um, but we're going to have a look at a few cards. We're not going to go into too much detail. Um, why am I ace of <coughs> where today? Good question. So I took myself off screen yesterday for the video. Um, and then I realized one minute before we started, it's been a bit of a rush over the last 10 minutes. Um, one minute before we started, I realized I had no webcam set up. So I've just been doing that. And I think Square's good. I think Square's okay. Um, feedback from the chat. Good evening, Mike. Uh, yeah, sixties experimental electronic music. Uh, it was like that times a thousand. Yeah, I could rave to it. Definitely. Um, if anyone wants to clip that and do some kind of competition entry, uh, feel free. Uh, energy. Uh, I think that's energy, isn't it? Uh, good evening. I think you're new to the chat, but yeah, nice Ed top beat. Uh, this. Thanks for joining. This was on last night. If you didn't get a chance to. To catch up, uh, to to tune in, <coughs> you can catch up if you go at the bottom of the stream. You'll be able to uh, to see the old videos. They're all saved on the channel. Um, and this, the uh, acting creative director of Nise, had a million little mini scoops for us, uh, and it was a fantastic acting stream. So thanks very much for joining. Uh, thanks for joining me last night. Uh, Ginevra, thanks for joining as well. Jen, thanks for joining. Orbital came for the filth. And the beats were pretty filth. Um, he is very straight. There we go. Thank you very much. Simply the Onion. Thanks for joining as well. Um, so I hope everyone's well. I'm glad we got the sound sorted nice and quick today. It wasn't half an hour. Um, Bushi, thanks for being the uh, the police here. Uh, don't don't apologise for being the fun police. Uh, absolutely. If it's in scoops, thread it. Thread it under your cards, everyone, myself included. Slap wrists. If it's in uh, Discord, you can talk whenever you like. And I'll just delete your messages. Much easier that way. Um, Sean, good evening, SCD. Uh, yeah, the DJ Fenris art stream was quite magnificent. Um, uh, Sanjay's stream. Uh, Sanjay's been making uh, some loop 
uh, DJ Fenris, Steve Cambridge, All Tarts, or All Tart this evening, and it's been fascinating to watch. Really good fun. So uh, check that out. I'm sure it's going to be on catch up as well if you uh, if you want to check that out from the start. Uh, I'm joined this evening after uh, an elongated introduction. Uh, by a good friend of mine, he's one of the few people that's on the Ed, Ed uh, Discord server. I don't think anyone else is. Um, he's very lucky to be there. A privilege to have him. <laughs> I, I feel I feel very lucky. Thanks, Ed. Uh, yeah, no, 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 you should be. <laughs> you should feel lucky. Uh, it, it's it's Brad from the future. Brad, good evening. Hello from the future. Like I'm on the only time traveling continent in the world, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, how's it feel? Because you moved, you moved from pretty much the now to the future. Uh, can you tell me a little bit more about that? Well, Ed, uh, I'd like to say that the future is very disappointing because it's not much different from yesterday morning. Right. So, no, nothing astounding has happened in the future aside from a, a very sore back. <laughs> I mean, at least you're doing sports. I, I can't. I can't laugh. I'm doing. Oh uh, yeah, no, I, I am. It's, um, as I was as we were chatting about earlier, it's good, you know, being out of lockdown and being able to, you know, play squash and do cycling. So I'm not complaining at all. It's nice not to to have those options. Yeah, I know a lot of a lot of people around the world don't have those options at the moment. So no, we, we're getting there. Yeah. Ho- hopefully, next month we'll be able to. Uh, I'm looking at buying a bike uh, this week. I might even go out tomorrow and get myself a bike. I, I kind of I need to oh, do nice. something. I need to do something about this. My bike got stolen last year, unfortunately. Um, oh no, that's yeah, it was a real shame. It was a lovely bike, and I rode it every day. Uh, and then I just yeah, like, with financial situation and stuff, it was kind of like medium low priority because uh, yeah, 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 a decent yeah. bike. Um, uh, kind of in a position. Nah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I've, um, anyway, I've had I've had a bike stolen as well. Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. Yeah, sorry. We take questions from Dead Runner. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hey, imagine this stream going off topic. <laughs> Brad, <laughs> would, you, would you like to tell everyone a little bit about yourself, maybe a little bit about your net running journey and stuff like that? Uh, oh, my God. Um, so, Net Runner, I found a, a, a 2014, it's a 2014 corset at a, um, at a local op shop. Which the uh, op shop in Australia is an opportunity shop, which is like a I don't know what it's called anywhere else around the world, a second hand shop or whatever. Sure. And it was sold in a shrink wrap, and I was like, I had no idea what this game was, right? And I was like, yeah, it's just cool. Uh, okay. Bought it, brought it home, looked at, opened the rule book, and I was like, yeah, I don't know what's going on yet. Spoke to a, a board game friend, and he had played a little bit, and then um, we started playing. So just kitchen table, uh, net runner. No idea what I was doing. Tried to build the deck. It was absolutely awful. And by the way, my deck building has not improved. It's still pretty terrible. Um, <laughs> but yeah, got into it from there. And in lockdown, March, March, April last mm-hmm. year, um, the, the the Melbourne community um, they had gone. They said, you know, they put a post of saying we're going online onto JNet. Um, if people want to jam, just you know, pop on there, and there's a channel in Discord. And uh, being quite an old person, all these new technologies are very new to me. I was like, what? JNet and Discord? What is this newfangled tech? What's going on here? Anyway, so I hopped on, um, had a look at JNet, and I was like, oh, my God, this looks really complicated. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, yeah, found the GLC server and just started playing. And the, the, the crew in the GLC server were really helpful in helping me understand the new cards and the mechanics on Jideki and understanding basic gameplay and stuff. And I've been playing, I played a lot through lockdown. I was like, um, there's, a, there's an Australian, New Zealand um, play group on Discord. Yeah. And we were looking at, uh, at our games. And I think in six months, I played like almost 850 games. Bloody. <laughs> it, was, it was a lockdown, you know, there's not, uh, there's not much to do. That's considerable. Yeah, uh, it was. It so, was Jay, awesome. thanks, thanks for the raid, uh, Vale. Uh, good evening. The diverse spread in the view, viewer geolocation data is very good to see. Um, if you're interested, I was interested a little bit myself. So, if you look under the stream, I've stuck a, a geolocation data thing down there uh, so everyone can see that Netrunner is a worldwide game. Uh, Rask, mm. thanks for joining. Uh, really enjoyed Rask's stream on Monday. Uh, 
some of the jankiest decks I've ever seen. It's like a combo of... Um, uh, what are you playing? You're playing uh, Eternal, but on um, Riteki. Dot fun, so it's like it's got all the the <coughs> wild uh, big boy cards from Brett Runner. No, not from Brett Runner, from Reboot as well. And it, hmm. yeah, it's, it, it was very fun. Um, yeah, Eternal on Riteki, very very fun to watch. Uh, absolutely mad. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, and Link Ping, thanks for joining as well. And uh, Mark, good evening, Green Hackle. Um, yeah. So, so shout out to the APAC uh, crew. Um, we've got we've got an APAC themed weekend. Uh, got yourself today, and then we've got Mike tomorrow, and then mm. we've got Geneva on Saturday. And I felt there wasn't God, enough. Us. There wasn't enough European content for the APAC crew. I know a little bit of West Coast uh, Netrunner. It's kind of like the right time zone, sort of, but not enough. So, hence the nine o'clock in the evening stream. Um, and mm. it's nice to have a, a, a few of you guys on as well because uh, it's a very, very uh, thriving community um, that sometimes gets a bit forgotten. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I have. Well, we are, we, are, we are at the other end of the world, so it's easy for us to be forgotten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You stand, you stand down. Yeah. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's a small pool, but there's a quite a, there's a few of us that are quite active, uh, particularly with the new when the new cards drop, right? Um, no, so no. in the in the ANZ um, Discord channel, it's been a lot of conversations. Uh, I know that Giles has and um, Giles and Envy Kelly had sort of holding a few decks and sharing them and testing them out. Mm. So it's been it's been good fun. It's sort of you know, injected a fresh burst of energy into the group. Um, yeah. Looking at the cards that are that are going to be in the meta for this year, uh, and there's a ton of strong players. Um, yeah, you have former mm. champion Jess Horrig, uh, an activist. Mm. Um, yep. Uh, you know yourself, Vale, uh, Mike. Mm. Um, uh, yeah, we've got uh, yeah. Valkyries. Valkyrie, and, yeah, Valkyrie, super strong. Yeah, yeah. No, Space Ice, uh, who doesn't pop in that often anymore. That space, know what space Ice. Is. Yeah. Jaden, yeah. Yeah, 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 and is a is a dumb brick from New Zealand, or am I making that up? Not a dumb brick. Uh, I don't know. Ghost meat. Sorry, ghost meat. Ghost meat. Yeah. yeah, I think he's relocated to Canada. Um, extreme. That's right. Yes. Uh, yeah, from, yeah. from NZ joined the joined the channel this week, and he mentioned that um, ghost meat had relocated. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. To Canada. Yeah. 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 But anyway, that's super mm. strong meta, um, and obviously, uh, mm. you know. Uh, I suppose, have you found, uh, you haven't really been playing during the right slots, but I suppose the challenge is Australia's a really big country. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, uh, you, you can have you can have 100 players in 10 cities, and then you've only got tiny little metas around, you know, Brisbane, Perth, Adelaide, Canberra, yeah, yeah, yeah. listing Australian cities here. Um, yeah, just, as as I read them on Wikipedia. Geographical knowledge. Um, yeah, That's um, impressive, mate. Yeah, right, yeah. yeah. It's been burning up. Yeah, no, uh, um, it is. Yeah. There, was, <laughs> there, was a, there was a Perth uh, store champs and Adelaide store champs in the last two months. And I think okay. Perth had maybe six to eight players. Okay. And Adelaide, pretty much the same number. Um, mm. So, and Malchus Folly... He um, he is a regular as well. I think he he took a break. Uh, oh, and I think he was coming back once the new cards once the new cards were being released. Yeah, I mean we've certainly seen a lot of people uh, coming back that are kind of yeah you know, maybe they're taking a break after Worlds, maybe they're taking a break before then. Mm -hmm. um, you yeah, know, but there's a steady influx of uh, returning players, which is just great to see. Um, oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, Dan, no, Dan has edited and edited again. Um, but Dan made a very good point uh, on Slack because I've got my Slack open. Um, mm -hmm. Just a little, a little window into my world. As you can see, I play Twilight Struggle. I drink beer. Um, <laughs> Nisei General, I've got no idea what that's all about. Tour Guide, I think that's a card or something. <clears throat> Definitely not about Tour de France. Mm -hmm. Itinerant Processors, which oh, you're a member of. Let me do it. Yeah. Um, but but yeah. Anyway, we were on Scoop's channel, and Dan did put something about Artists Colony. Um, 
do check out Artist Colony on Slack um, and uh, check the links on Dan's website, which is nearearthhub.net for the links. Mm -hmm. Um, And go and buy yourself some all tarts. Um, Yeah. No, you should, everyone. So you you can edit that one again. Hi, Ed. I'm glad you noticed. I did notice. I was there. Thanks for the link, Dan. Yeah, perfect. Near Earth Hub, Artist Colony. Um, Mm. Check out all the cool alts over there. Um, Shall we talk about some cards, Brad? Let's let's do with my uh, with my limited <laughs> player knowledge around cards and the interactions. I'm trying to remember. I, I think we fifty fifty last time. Um, mm. Last time we played was the the itinerant protesters weekly tournament, wasn't it? I believe. Yeah, the sweeps week that um, that Val had organised. Yes, I think that, yeah, that, that was, was the last yeah, sweep, yeah. Val sweeps week. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we played first round fun. and did we split first round? We did split first round. Yeah. I'm trying to think what I played. Yes. I played, I played Pawn Shop Adam and Sports. I think was sports, it sports? Sports Metal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Sports. sports. And you. And I think I played Freedom and Regular Polina, I think. Yeah, that sounds. Or that viral sounds right. Antivirus Polina. One of the two. I mentioned that tournament because I've achieved something today, or yesterday, or today. Ah. No, today I've achieved something. I have now been on the three most popular current Netrunner podcasts. Um, oh, because, that's fantastic! Because today, uh, the Kitchen Table Netrunner uh, released, or oh, yesterday, in fact, released their podcast. Um, and and towards the start of it, Tristan shouts. Tristan, chat stream. Thanks for joy. Uh, thanks for following. Thank you very much. Um, remember, everyone, you can follow the channel to get uh, uh, notifications when I go live. Um, yeah, no, I, I was on it, and I didn't know I was on it until I was on it. I was listening. I was in bed this morning, <laughs> and uh, Tristan starts talking about taking that animal seriously. Shout out to his Sengrin, mm-hmm. teaching him. Um, I, I wish Sengrin hadn't taught uh, Tristan how to play. Uh, in the third round of the tournament that we were both in, uh, Brad, mm. I, I was mm. drawn against uh, Tristan. All right. And, and I offered Tristan a, a two for one. Um, yeah. And, and there's a reason why I offered Tristan a two for one, uh, which I'm going to reveal the story now. So it was <clears> two <throat> o'clock in the morning. This this tournament, we needed to set, submit the deck lists. Everything was going great. Uh, Ed, until you guess mental with me. Yeah, Sanjay, so uh, apology, a live formal apology. So it was two o'clock in the morning. I needed the decks registered by 6 a.m. Uh, my time. Yeah. So I had four hours and it was 2 a.m. And I was just getting into bed after, a, uh, I can only describe a heavy night of drinking. Mm. And I thought, <laughs> oh no, I haven't submitted decks. Oh, what am I going to do? I was like, right, okay, just just stick with what you know. Um, 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 um. Okay, uh, harpsichord, no ice. Let's go, <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, <my laughs> word. I can't even remember what the other deck was. Um, I th- no, it was Pirate Haley, <clears throat> maybe. Mm-hmm. Might have been Pirate Haley. Chris, good evening. Pierre Mavis, good evening. Um, yeah, and then, and then I said to Sanjay the next day, who was doing a, a guest mentor for me because Laura was taking a bit of time mm-hmm. off Netrunner. Um, shout out to Laura, uh, who's away at the moment. Uh, and I said, Sanjay, right, so these are the decks for this week. Uh, we need to win. And okay, Sanjay said, right, well, send me the lists across. <laughs> and I sent the lists across. <laughs> and these lists were bad, like real bad. <laughs> Piles of cards, bad. It would actually been, what, it would been better to just put together random cards. There was zero win condition in the, in the Hearts Court deck. Uh, Sanjay managed to win a game on JNet Casual, so uh, it's undefeated on JNet right. for that one game uh, and lost for the other 20. <laughs> the Haley was okay. So, yeah, anyway, so I offered a two for one, um, uh, which Tristan accepted, and, and we were just praying, yeah. praying for Haley to come up. And as, as Tristan <laughs> says in the, in the stream, Haley came up. Um, and it actually wasn't a bad matchup for the, for the, uh, for the uh, Pirate Haley. But uh, I lost, so. <laughs> it, 
it, it, it, there's a moral there about building decks at two in the morning after you've been in a few beers. Don't do it. Don't do it. I should have just stuck with decks I played in the previous round. I was trying to prove a point. Uh, anyway. Anyway. <laughs> Nothing good happens at 2 a.m. in the morning. Nothing. Well, I'll tell you what, what has happened. It's now meant that I'm on the three largest uh, concurrent, regular, Netrunner adjacent podcasts, which has been wonderful. So shout out to the uh, Kitchen Table Netrunner crew. Thanks very much for... Uh, unlike no, having me on the podcast. <laughs> uh, but, <laughs> with that in mind, do a, go and check out surprise the, guest appearance. Yes, a, a surprise guest appearance. Um, do go and check out the Kitchen Table Netrunner podcast uh, to get all the details on these cards. Uh, mm. I'm just going to go through them lightly today. I don't want to dig deep. I want people to, uh, you know, to experience the podcast. This is their hot takes on it energy thanks for following mm. thanks very much um yeah but they have been posted here so we can you know they're in a public space so we can have a, a, a quick look at them uh, one by one mm. so first of all this is luminal transubstantiation so three two agenda always good limit one per <coughs> neck when you score this agenda gain three clicks you cannot score agendas for the remainder of the turn uh flavor mm. text as i was saying to this last night love short flavor text we are the light of tomorrow. Um, and yeah. This explained a little bit about this uh, last night about the light and coming into it was just wonderful, wonderful flavour. And what I noticed today when I was having a, a look at this, um, mm. the art's got this really nice cartoony style on it. Uh, yeah. Just jam in, um, like a real like comic book style, uh, which definitely looks out of place at all. I love this. Yeah. Oh, I, I I must admit I, I love the new um, the redesigned cards. They look mm. they look pretty cool. And also I love the, those two floating heads <laughs> above whatever the, the power core server thing is. That's yeah. in the back. That's in the background there. That's yeah, yeah, funny. yeah. And 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 the fact that they're such a different style. <laughs> Sorry, I've uh, I've my my laptop is really struggling at the moment. Um, yeah, there's the card. If you want to see it properly, cell shaded. Okay, that's so that's called cell shading. Um, mm. Yeah, because you can you can really see okay. it. You said the two floating heads are a really different yeah. style and stand out to the the rest of the quite like kind of two dimensional mm. comic book style of the rest of the art. Um, I think it's fab. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I think someone one of the designers posted an article uh, a couple of weeks ago talking about the the artwork and the style. Um, of digital art that they use and mm. the layering that they use on photographs for the that was the base for the, for the cards. That's right. Yeah. yeah so yeah. it was really, was it, really fascinating. Yeah. Was it talking about the Corroda mm. art? Am I right in saying? Yes. It was, I th- I Corroda. It was yeah, really, yeah. It was that article, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Really worth a read. If yeah. On Niso's website, if you haven't seen that article, fascinating insight into how art comes from uh, sort of vision birth through to final product. I, I really, really mm. enjoyed reading those. Um, and I think there's a third one to come as well, which I'm thoroughly looking forward to. Uh, yeah. On this card, apart from having a great name and apparently the longest possible name uh, for an agenda in that frame, um, what are we doing with these clicks, asked Chris. What are we doing with those three clicks? We can't score agendas. What are we doing? Uh-huh. You, you can advance an NGO front as uh, the... Tristan and Nicole mentioned in their thing yesterday. You could uh, even in the mirror morph route, you can use it to install and click a austerity policy, mm-hmm. possibly, or pop a contract killer. <laughs> pop contract killer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I I've got this. I've got this sneaking suspicion that mirror morph is going to be quite good with these cards. Yeah, I think you may be spot on there, my friend. I think so. And it would make sense to play these in Mirror Morph, right? I'd love to play them in in the new precision design, but it just doesn't feel as optimal as if you use this in a Mirror Morph deck. Yeah, arguably. Mm. Um, Three new yeah, maybe, maybe not, but yeah, put some counters on Ronin. Um, yeah, mm. some like super dangerous stuff you can do. Shout to Bloom. Uh, and I am going to do this and give Bloom a crown. Thanks for joining. I'm just doing some VIPing 
uh, bread mm-hmm. if you want to fill for me. Um, um, yeah, so the, 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 I guess I think that the thing with having one, only one of these in your deck is obviously the timing of when you draw it mm-hmm. and when you play it. So is it, is it an agenda that players will want to hold on depending on the matchup? And how you what what other combo pieces you've added into your deck to really leverage those three clicks? And like you said, it, it would make sense to use it in Mirror Morph, right? You get a lot more options. So if you, for example, if you have an efficiency, is it efficiency committee or voter? What's the one around uh, you? The runner loses clicks. The so five three. Uh, uh, voting machine initiative is that what it's called? Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll go with that. Yeah, um, I was thinking <laughs> right. false lead. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> so I mean, the yeah, combos you can do with the runner losing clicks and you, and the core gaining clicks. Um, mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't know. I'm sure the old wiser minds on the stream that could kind that of could kind of join the punishers join the those guys. With maybe screwing yeah. this out and like you said, MCAs and yeah, uh, like. Neuro spikes, uh, advanced in clearing house, mm. right ins. Um, there's quite a lot of options there, and maybe you just do it to get forward tempo. Because that's the matter is when you still an agenda, you lose tempo, and just having three clicks, to, yeah. uh, you know, to draw, draw two and gain one, or play a fully, fully up or you know flop. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Particularly in Asa, this would be really powerful, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it would certainly be powerful in Asa. I mean, it's like super powerful. Uh, Solomon is saying uh, there's nothing wrong with just clicking back three credits, and yeah, you get your agenda for three for free. You score, you know, you got an yeah. agenda or whatever. You biotic, biotic this out, or score it on sand, sand, sand. Mm. Restore advance, advance. Click three credits. You've got an agenda for free. No backwards tempo. Uh, exactly. Or you could even seamless launch it out, which is a good little segue into <laughs> into one of the other new cards. Oh, Brad. Oh. Oh, you've been practicing. That was wonderful. Um, I would, I was, I've been rehearsing in front of the mirror last night, right? At 2 a.m. in the morning. Seamless launch. Let's go. Right. What do you think is going on in this picture, first of all? Mm, it looks like a a tech company uh, product launch of some sort. Mm. Some sort of influencer sitting behind the table there. Yeah, it's definitely an influencer, isn't it? Um, yeah, Rask's yeah, saying yeah. It's an actually a really fair point as well. If you've got a strong scoring server, you score this out, you just install Advance Advance, your next agenda. You don't have to score it. Mm. Just jam a 5-3. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> keeps you keeps your tempo rolling, which is fantastic. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's just tempo forward, tempo forward, isn't it? Um, mm. So, yeah, seamless launch. It's a one-cost operation, nice and simple, uh, place two advancement yeah. counters on one installed card that you did not install this turn. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So, seamless launch for that text, it seems like it would be better using if you could use that after you've scored out um, luminal trouble substanti- train substantiation, right? Yeah. Um, so, if you've got that 5 3, if you install a 5 3, Play the seamless launch, add the two tokens, plus you get your um, two other clicks from um, from Luminal, which in theory sounds amazing, mm-hmm. right? And this is I love this in Netrunner because when I was in my early deck building days, um, like ah, oh, this card would be awesome. Forgetting that there are like you know forty eight or forty four other cards that go in the deck, yeah. That that one card that seemed like a great idea still has the intact. <laughs> 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 so listen listen for the newbies guys one card doesn't make you a dick <laughs> no, no 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 absolutely not um yeah no. no so i've just been sat here thinking is there a kill combo mm-hmm. seamless launch with um, mm-hmm. um luminal transubstation with mirror morph or jeeves can we score out luminal sure. With a mm. clearing house on the board, for example, mm-hmm. or a Ronin. Oh, can we do Ronin kill? Can we do Ronin kill with this? Perhaps we can. Wouldn't it be better for the nearest spike though? Because you don't have to spend that click to to pop the um, nearest spike like you have to do with Ronin. The nearest spike. Mm. This feels quite killy to me. It does. 
Um, what's clearing us is four meat, is it? Of, I can't remember. Uh, no, clearing house is the one which you flip at the start of your turn and do one meat for each agenda counter on it. Oh, that's right. You've got to advance it. All oh, right, gotcha. Sim- gotcha. Simply the onion. So it's like a Wayland Ronin. Yeah, it's like a Way- Wayland Ronin. Uh, Simply the onion's got what I was thinking too seamless and activate a Ronin. Um, yeah. Yeah, or you, you know, seamless advance uh, or install seamless advance. You get your Miramorph click to activate mm. a Ronin or something. Yeah, yeah, there might be something there. Um, it could be cheeky at the, towards the mid to late game. Yeah. It feels yeah. like that's something to watch out for. Um, a lot of the time, it's going to just be used to score out your five three that you install advance advance next turn, double advance mm. advance score, and then you get a click. Um, mm. So a lot of the time, it's going to be for that, just a slight up fast advance, jam the next agenda or whatever. But yeah, yeah, I think so. Particularly if you here we go. Sanjay's got the combo. <laughs> three in your response. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot of money you've got to be holding in your hand. <laughs> Easy to assemble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Especially in a you know a precision design where you get six cards in HQ. Yeah. <laughs> so you can hold all your combo pieces there. Yeah. In theory. <laughs> yeah. Fifty percent of the time it works all the time, right? Uh, dead stock could if, if someone pulls us off, they need to. Um, they need to make sure it's they've recorded the. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure we'll be seeing. We'll be seeing like eight click combo <laughs> turns with uh, with transluminal with luminal trans. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So it'd be or cool to you um... in a Malapert server and find your neuro spikes. That's a big shout. So Malapert uh, uh, vaults. Mm. Malapert vaults from yesterday. Did actually grab a non non agenda card. <laughs> Um, that's a massive that shout, actually. Right. Yeah. Mm. That's a big call. Gives you a little bit more consistency. Okay. So we're starting mm. to see horrible things happen here. Um, that might only yes. be a thing, Simply the Onion. Yeah, I think you might be right there. Uh, and I think <clears throat> uh, Malapet's only two influence as well. So uh, one to watch out for. Um, for next, anyway. have I scrolled too far? Not far enough. Uh, what do we skip? Luminal oh, sprint. Yeah. So, Jackson Howard, reprinted in purple. Yes or no? Malapert three in. Okay, cool. Yeah, thanks. Um, yes, it's a, it's a nice infection. It's almost like you know attitude adjustment, or there's a couple of other cards, or hasty relocation as well. Something similar. Yeah. Um, to have it in faction is fantastic. You know, it's nice to dump those agendas you've been flooded with after you've done a mulligan. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what am I doing with this horrible hand? Yeah, 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 yeah. It, it's a great card to yeah. have in hand. Uh, so it's a zero cost operation. Mm. Draw three cards, shuffle two from R and D into from HQ into R and D. Um, it's great. Yeah, which is a which is a nice pair with um, oh my god, it's escaping now. The um, the train slipper station. I've completely lost my train of thought. Please continue it. Uh, no, no, not at all. Uh, this Saints Power Creep on rework. Yeah, um, this this card. I'm going to say right now. This card was originally very, very busted uh, and has been nerfed significantly. Um, I still think it's very playable at one influence. I think we mm. see it in a ton of places um, as one or two of. Uh, I don't think it replaces Jackson, um, but no. at the same time, it is super useful. Oh, oh, Solomir! It was everywhere. It was it was Jackson, you know. In in terms of, uh, open a corp deck, right? What's first card is three three sprints going. Yeah, it's moved much more towards the attitude adjustment. Um, obviously with the yeah, uh, hey, play testers, play testers are not cowards. Play testers do try and push cards, uh, and the dev team do rein us back in. Uh, rain, rain the play testers mm-hmm. back in. Um, uh, great flavor text here. All time is crunch time. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's really cool. <laughs> uh, I really like that. Um, I think we're going to see this a lot. I, I think it's going to be one of the most popular <clears throat> cards. Not necessarily the most powerful. Not necessarily the most like most mm-hmm. defining cards. 
but it is solid it's one influence and it costs zero um yeah yeah. And that it's in fashion as well, because it reminds me, it's similar to genotyping as well. So it's almost like, you know, yeah. in the in your core, in your core IDs, mm-hmm. you now have in fashion um, draw and reshuffle cards, which is great. Yeah, yeah. 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 And at zero. Especially in, uh, in 40 card decks. Was it, I think that if, if we all, if we build to a 40 card corp deck, it'll make it really interesting in terms of what you can slot in and what you're drawing. So having this as an option to to move things to Ryan will be really good. Yeah, super valid. Yeah, yeah. Mm. In, a, in a 40 card deck, you don't want to be losing stuff to to archives. Um, you're no. slotting it back in RFD, you're going to get to it a lot quicker. Um, cool. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think it's a great card. Probably probably mm. actually my like secret favorite HB card so far. Um, and <laughs> I, I just think it's super useful. Uh, although maybe not the most exciting, yeah. I think it will uh, be one of the most popular. And yeah. uh, the last oh, one for absolutely. today, the last one for today, is Managarm Skunk Works. The Managarm Skunk Works is a mm. two-cost upgrade. Uh, whenever the runner approaches this server, end the run unless they either spend two clicks or pay five credits. It's three to trash. <laughs> it's three influence, and the flavor text from the mm. first list. Whose memory tape needs such stringent security? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, super suspicious. Uh, uh, Love the artwork on this one, though. This is so so Man versus cool. Trees, just before, thanks for joining Man vs. Trees. Um, interesting, it didn't stand out at first, Sprint. Yeah, I just think Sprint is one of those utility cards that you know, it's a bit like daily cast. Probably the first time you see daily cast, you go, yeah, it's all right. Or heaven forbid, mm. red team. The first time everyone sees red team, they're like, ah, it's all right. Um, and actually, it's super good. Uh, that's my, my sprint takes. Um, so this in yeah. the chat, thanks for thanks for the flavor here, um, the lore. This is a single art piece with Jailbreak, Managam Skunk Works. So from David Lee, as mm. we were saying yesterday, David Lee, all the all of David Lee's pieces are two parts that stick together. Um, it'll be really exciting once we get the sort of the full art releases uh, to see mm. how this fits in with Jailbreak, presumably the catalyst breaking in to Managarm Skunk Works uh, with the high security around it. Yeah, um, yeah. So, Brad, what do you think no, of this card? Man, I'll, I love it. I'm, as you were chatting, I was like, well, what What are the upgrade that's in faction would you pair this with in a server? Um, so if you, you know, have that winning agenda in your in your remote, would you stick an ash in there? So, you know, you have to pay the four choice as well as um, the runner losing clicks or paying five. And what what which ice would be a good match with this? Um, so, so, given yeah, that, I, th- I think Ash is rotated, but I agree. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Probably something you can do here with hmm. um, Aniotic Void. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Um, that double end the run. Yeah, you can. So you fire this first and then Void. In terms of sequencing. Yeah. So there's the approach. You approach the server. Mm. Um, Managarm Skunk Works fires. And then Aniotic Void fires after that. I believe. Yeah, that's a, that's a, good, that's a good possibility. It's also good feels good with border control. Um, yes. I don't... Although rules and me don't get on very well. Not the rules team. <laughs> Shout out to the rules team. But the actual rules themselves. I'm not sure... Is there a border control window after Manic Arms fired before you can have uh, a border control? Well, I don't know. We've got, we've got, you choose the order. Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah. So, fire at the same time, but you choose the order. So, Manic Arms fires first, pay five, yep. and then you pop border control or pay two clicks. Pay two clicks, they can't get in a second time. Uh, so, the run. Yeah, save your border control. Yeah. Yeah. 
So it's going to be really nice in in ag infusion <laughs> if you want to splurge three points. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it will be really good in ag infusion. Yeah, really horrible. Uh, maybe good in earth station with, with, as well. Oh yeah, that'd be really good. Yeah. Um, no, I like it. I really like it. There's, um, I like the the particularly with the design of the of the cards that we've seen so far. Mm. There's these. Um, I think I'm thinking there's a there's a runner card as well where um, the corp gets to decide what happens with the runner. So they either get card draw for or they get credits right. So I like this mechanic. It's not just yeah, you've run into my upgrade. I'm going to punish you. But actually, you get to choose your punishment. It's a bit of like the Steve Cambridge mechanic. <laughs> you yeah, call yeah, decide yeah. which card comes back, either it's Doof or Boomerang, <laughs> or Doof and Doof. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, well, it's classic as, yeah, Doof and Doof, or Bravado and Bravado will be the new Doof and Doof. Um, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. It was Count Siphon, Count Siphon, originally. Um, yeah. So I think there's, there's, some good, um, there's some good combos that, that Skunk Works can, can pair with particularly on a server that you want to protect. And yeah. um, I'm, it's, I think it's 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 um, it's a good decision to keep it as a unique card, because if you had one on a central and one in your scoring mode, it makes life really miserable for a runner up. Yeah. Yeah. So, so speaking <laughs> of, if you had two of these installed, sorry, yeah, mm, no, you, could you, uh, from a rules perspective, can you de-res, can, can you de-res an active skunk works and then res a fresh one on a different server? During a run, I don't think you can de-res it, can you? Yeah, I don't think you can de-res you... it. I wonder. I wonder if, yeah, it trashes the first one. Yeah, yeah, the first one would get trashed by the second one. Um, yeah, it's uh, a bummer. If we had a rule that said you could just flip your res, de-res for, for yeah, upgrades, I, I, yeah, it'd be so busted. <laughs> Um, this upgrade's, <laughs> this upgrade's yeah. really wild, though. Uh, yeah, kind of. It, it, it goes into the um, yeah, swap the polyp. I think political operatives going to become as meta defining as Miss Bones was six months ago. If I'm completely honest, because mm. um, there's going to be a lot of servers that are going to be very, very hard to get into. Um, it, you can raise the second one; it just trashes the old one. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it does, which makes be sense. Super, super useful. Being able to trash stuff in servers that you can't get into. Um, mm. uh, what? So, any ideas on I set this would pair well with in HB? In HB, um, I mm. would say probably Byroid Eyes, to be honest, because a lot of the time, yeah. more recently, and I don't know, it's something something I've been doing more recently. Uh, than used to is clicking through by red ice rather than uh, taking the yeah. hit to break um, and you know maybe a false lead again MCA austerity policy my favourite card in the world uh, <laughs> looks really good here you know stick there stick an MCA uh, behind a couple of by red ice that are quite taxing to get through let's go um, yeah yeah and, I think and the red ice makes sense as well. yeah meanwhile you're building up your centrals uh, Corporal Volumes, mm. thanks for joining. Uh, that's me. <laughs> that's you, is it? Oh, that's me, yes. I've got, the, I've got the Twitch up on the screen. With is, the it, um, is it Vimes' uh, socioeconomic theory of boots? Is that is that Vimes? Is this Vimes from Terry Pratchett's uh, yeah, Discord right. series? From, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm sure it's him. It, my favourite Terry yeah. Pratchett quote is the, 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 um, the socioeconomic theory of uh, boots. And I think it's I think it's Vimes that says about the unfairness of uh, of rich people being yeah. able to buy really nice shoes that last for a long time, and he can only afford bad <laughs> shoes. And he has to buy five pairs. Or like, uh, yeah, your your memory is incredible. I can barely remember half the stuff I read from Terry Pratchett, but I love the characters. One of my favourite authors. Yeah, yeah. Jen, Jen in the chat's a big fan of Terry Pratchett as well. Super big fan. Uh, uh, she's got a collection of signed books. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Cool cards, huh? So, so, yeah, I was going to say, so taking your ice suite from an architect's deck and sticking it into and pairing it with Skunk Works would actually work really well. I, I think you're right. I think you're right. I think um, Architects of Tomorrow, yeah. 
Yeah, maybe that's the home mm. for it. And, and there's a ton Possibly, of things yeah. to do. Like mid-range glacier could definitely be seeing a comeback here with the amount of end the end run stuff here. Mm. Um, with the tempo forward stuff that HP's got in faction now. Um, mm. Mid-range glacier. I, I quite like to see mid-range come back because I think it's a fun deck to play against and it's underrated. Yeah. Um, and it kind of keeps it keeps certain runners in check as well, uh, uh, rather than Polana having to do all the heavy lifting on that. Uh, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I that's think the down on Glacier, but yeah, I think the five credit tax won't be as impactful given how rich runners are running. Hey, three hours in one sentence. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> if particularly look at the new, like I've been t- playing a, some of the new Shaper builds, and mm-hmm. Overclock is just. Awesome, right? Such a good card. Yeah. Um, without without the brain damage from a stomach, less credits, admittedly, but it's like you're in in the in the few games that I've played with an A level, you almost never feel like you run out of money. Yeah. So and, and, and it keeps, it it keeps you your sideways decks in check as well. Um, Lies in one plan. Yeah. Thanks for the follow as well. Thanks for joining the channel. Um, yeah, it keeps your sideways builds in check. Overclock. Um, yeah, and I think Sideways is going to really need some support in the the cars that are coming mm. up. Um, although we've got the right factions coming up as well to to see, haven't we? With HB, it was sorry with MBN and mm. with Jinteki. Um, yeah, yeah, it'd be interesting to see whether Sideways gets support with any H being brought back. Um, yes, I mean I've been hearing uh, some interesting things about people who played any H before. Of, mm. This is before before my time, mm. um, so that that could be really interesting, right? Yeah, um, I'm, I'm, but again, I'm already, we don't know what I'm else. Really is looking forward to any H. I'm, I'm really really looking forward to it. I didn't get to play it first time round. Really, I think it was rotating out just when I started. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, lots of fond memories. It was pretty much meta dominant 2014 2015. Um, yeah, I've, I mean, I've heard the legendary stories. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely, absolutely. It'll be fun to see what it does now. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah. So I really like the, the, the these new cards. Um, it'd be really cool to see what else is coming up, right? Um, yeah. Because you've only had a, a taster so far. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, HB may be currently the Corp faction I'm most looking forward to play. Uh, maybe not the strongest. Maybe not. Um <laughs> Asa seems like yeah. a huge boost. Uh, although no side unless it's caught. Midrange mm. Glacier could be seeing a comeback, as he said. Uh, a Mirror Morph. I think there's tons you can do in Mirror Morph. Yeah. Um, yeah, Mirror Morph is particularly with these. ID, but yeah. Sorry, yeah, they come. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so particularly with these cards in Mirror Morph. Um, mm. I think it would be, be good to, to chat to you about uh, holding Mirror Morph. There could be Malchus Folly. Because he he's a really good mirror morph player. Okay. Uh, yeah. So he he might actually have some really some really good ideas. Because he he, he one of his current mirror morph builds he um, click denial, um, yeah, and sure. the cards that he's that he's, that he's pulled in actually makes it quite unpleasant if he if he scored the right pieces right. Like particularly with that votive machine initiative, I think the five three yeah. yeah, I'm sure. That's yeah, the one. yeah. I'm sure that's the one. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Um, cool. And and yeah, and then maybe yeah, yeah. and then you stick a punitive in as well. You know, if you you've got Project Vasher oh, and then stick punitive in, and you know, no one's having any fun yeah. apart from the corp. Yeah, it could be some really good um, combos you could yeah. play with these. It'd be awesome. Oh my god, punitive! Oh, you steal a five three and have no money. Yeah, that's gonna be fun. <laughs> yeah. You got no chance to get anything back, and yeah, horrible, 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 horrible. Yeah. Um, Brad, is there anything you wanted to talk about this evening other than uh, these cards? Um, that's a good question. Um, No's fine. I've got Weeble in the chat while you're having a think, uh, saying Bill, mm. pro proto startup deck against any H earlier. Some tail ice juggling, ran like crazy while I sped out on Sand Sands. Great fun. Uh, uh, okay, my man. Uh, maybe against Simply the Onion. Lots of good play map contenders, but that's my that's my dollar there. Uh, is on any any H any H arts absolutely beautiful, absolutely absolutely beautiful. Um, 
yeah yeah stunning work from the uh, the art team just awesome um, uh, it, i'm really excited about tar it is the and the, some of the shaper cards we've seen so far have been mm. it's making me really happy <laughs> yeah. i've tried to, I've, i was a, a massive kid fan right i always end up okay. you know favoring artists that are not great competitively and i think in the in one of the rpg tournaments i think that who organized that one did we or someone else um, uh, just before anarcho, the season anarcho week. mushroom anarcho, yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah i played um i played kid um yeah. great to play but not ultra competitive no. <laughs> so with the new shape of cards that have come out it makes kit and smoke um a lot more viable so yeah. th- that's exciting Definitely. yeah Definitely. so i'm really happy about that I, i've seen some uh some stealth builds out there mm. today actually on on my like all group uh, shout out to the Bristol group yeah. and they're all they're all playing it's uh, Barrow Moo's birthday at midnight so happy birthday to Barrow Moo for tomorrow if you're catching up tomorrow morning with a little bit of a hangover uh, happy birthday uh, <laughs> sorry I couldn't join this evening um, right I think that's it from me today yeah. uh, thanks ever so much Brad for joining tomorrow I've oh, got so Mike no 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 absolute pleasure Brad always always pleasure talking to you and uh, thanks for getting up that little bit earlier uh to talk about Netrunner. Um, thanks everyone in the chat as well. Uh, yeah, tomorrow I've got Mike, uh, and we're going to be talking about Andre's stream. So Andre is streaming mm. in maths three hours uh, on Metropole Grid, uh, playing with the mm. criminal cards that he did the awesome. Have you had a chance to see the video, Brad? I did. It was brilliant. Loved it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it was the production really quality is just phenomenally good. Uh, if you haven't had a chance to watch it. Uh, go over to Metropole Grid on YouTube and have a watch uh, where Andre goes through in his classic style that we miss so much. Andre, if you're watching this, please make those pack videos again. They are so good. Um, And we got a a classic pack video. It was wonderful to watch. And uh, streaming tonight with with Pat and they're going to be playing some games against each other. That's something to look out for. Mm. Three hours. It'll be good to watch it. Really good to watch. Yeah, I'll be staying up late for that. Um, thanks, everyone, for joining this evening. Remember the competition. Uh, and uh, tomorrow we'll talk a little bit about the uh, Gateway Tournament as well. Thanks, everyone, for joining. You'll yeah, be that'll tonight. be exciting. Yeah. Mm. Thanks, Ed. Yeah. Bye, then. Bye-bye. Cheers, mate. Have a good evening. <laughs>